planes, trains, and automobiles are ever present in Southern California. They all contribute to what's called ambient air pollution. Ambient air pollution is particulate matter, which are microscopic particles. Uh, some of them, especially the fine ones, actually deposit deep into the lung and are known to cause a lot of respiratory problems in children and humans in general. Dr. Kieros Barani from the University of Southern California and co-authors followed just over 4,600 children in eight Southern California communities across three different time periods, from 1993 to 2012. In addition to monitoring air quality, the researchers looked at children with and without asthma and whether they reported respiratory symptoms like bronchitis, congestion, phlegm production, or a daily cough for three months in a row during the previous year. In the children with asthma, we found at the beginning of the study in the first cohort, almost 48% of them had bronchitic symptoms in the last year. Now, in the children without asthma, this number was only about 11%. Air pollution levels dropped significantly during the observation period. Bronchitic symptoms were compared in three groups of children from 1993 to 2012. The prevalence of bronchitic symptoms went down by about 32% in those children with asthma. We also found that it went down by about 21% in those children without asthma. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. These uh, reductions were significant and important in both children with asthma and children without asthma. So all children benefited from these reductions in air pollution. Protecting our environment really leads to better respiratory health in children. Catherine Dolph, the JAMA Report.